Hey guys, my name is Lovis and we are here with this game again. Um, it's been like over a month since I've last recorded. Well, no, actually, I've last said this thing like all in May. Uh, so, yeah, I'm back to playing video games now, or at least recording. So I'll be like pumping out a lot more videos because I have plenty of more time. So I'm gonna do that. <laughs> okay. So hopefully this might be the last episode. I really, really hope so. I would like to go back to Soul Set because I seem to can't actually keep up with two different, well actually should I say three different games at one time. I just don't do it. I just throw one to the side and just focus on two, I guess. <coughs> okay, so uh, the white the white smoke finally uh, formed a familiar cloak, uh, being who arched forward with the very veiny hands uh, tensed out beside him uh, something about the angel however seemed different than before as if he somehow gained energy from being within Diana as possible you filthy cur you continue to try and defy your destiny when it is useless James stood and glared at the angel forming a sword again in his hand pointing the pointing it towards his new opponent his body began to glow and the room began to brighten with his golden aura. I have no such destiny to remain in this world. My life is bound to the one I love, not to an empty chair gained through blood. You will have no choice in the matter! Like bullets, like two bullets, James and the angel rushed at each other, colliding with uh, James's sword against the angel's bare hands. I expected James's blade to tear through the angel's flesh, but the steel against the James angel's hands was like a granite stone, a gray stone. There you go. Ow, with these sounds suck. Right. How do I do this thing? man the amount of sounds that that sound effect sucks go all the way down okay that's a little better yeah yeah I can actually hear myself think I even lower down the volume for my headphones and it's like ah okay so the angel um gripped uh, to James's a uh, blade slowly began to crush it beneath his hand, causing the magic surrounding it to falter and fade. James and I stared wide-eyed at the angel, uh, was able to uh, rip a broken piece of the sword and toss it to the side like it was plastic. Determined still, James shot back shot his energy through his sword and reformed the blade, going once again uh, for another attack, only to be blocked by the angel's forearm. Upon impact, the steel of the blade shattered like glass, falling to the ground. I am no mere servant of heaven, demon. I am the keeper of destiny, the scribe of fates. You cannot defeat me no matter what spells you come. Upon his final words, the angel pressed his hand forward and slammed them into James's crest chest. Uh, forcing him to fly back and slam into the far wall. Ah! You know, I gotta hurt. James! I instantly um, began to rush uh, towards him, but found myself lifted off the ground by the neck and pulled away from James towards Angel. Gah. No! Okay, and that guy is like, Then you got something. Yeah. Okay, I grabbed uh, at the back of my neck, feeling the angel's uh, hand gripped it tightly and kept my body afloat somehow. His hand felt indeed uh, like stone and concrete grazed against my skin roughly, almost tearing at the flesh as I struggled. Let me go! <laughs> I should have forced you to choose from the beginning, demon. This <coughs> demon will not see reason to let you go, but I know that you will see reason in the offer I will graciously give you. Uh, graciously, uh-huh. The angel held my body out and dangled me in the air like a doll as I flailed and craw craw clawed at the angel's arms, my nails merely scratching against the stone as if I felt my energy slowly deplete even further 
than if it was my spirit. And then it was then in my spirit. There you go. Accept your fate, demon. And I will bring her back to the human world unharmed. Refuse, and I will release her to the gates of hell for the devil spawn to ravish. Oh, that's just cruel. Call yourself an angel. As he spoke uh, of Jane's potential refusal, a large uh, a large wave of heat bursted uh, out beneath my feet, causing me to look down and scream at the sight on the ground. Hey, are you gonna have like some type of art of what uh, what that is? Uh, beneath our body, a large circle open, red flames uh, flaring out of it. Between the flames, I can barely. I can hear whispers. Almost okay. I could barely uh, make out the sights of hundreds of hands. Oh god, that's scary. Reaching out, reaching up to try to stretch themselves through the hole above towards me. Each hand was red. It was burned in red. Sent waves of remembrance down my body and an image of malice. Malix appeared in my head. Ah, yeah, I would scream too. Uh, my fear only spurred uh, me to foil harder in the hold I was in, uncaring of the fr uh, the friction of my hands, causing uh, I could feel blood gathering and dripping from the back of my neck, tearing open at my temps. James stared up at me. What is he gonna do? I thought this was supposed to be a good ending. Oh no, I did so well for so long. Okay, we were so we were far away from him, and he couldn't reach me in time. Even if he sprinted as I was dropped, I was left to James' decision. Jane's body began to rumble in dis uh, rumble in despair as James dropped to his knees and slammed his hands onto the marble ground. My heart dropped at his words. I accept my fate. God damn it! No, <laughs> that's me, James. I accept my fate. No, her! Obediently, the angel loosened his grips on my neck as the hole beneath me began to close. As my feet touched the ground, the angel fully released me, and I watched as I rushed over to James, sliding onto my knees before him. James, no! Say your farewell to her, Dean. I will grant her that much before I take her back. I wrapped my arms around him, desperate not to let- Man! Ma'am, did I get a bad ending? Damn it! Mm, I'm mad. <laughs> okay, I wouldn't be separated from James ever. Oh, yeah. And James, however, wrapped an arm around me and buried his head in my shoulder. His tears falling I over it. Fuck you, I'm not leaving him. Oh, wow. James slowly uh, stood with me in his arms because he needed to stand on my own feet as well. He pulled away and looked down at me, tears falling down my cheeks. I love life. you. I will forever love you until the day I die. No. That sounds like a goodbye to me. No. J -j James. <laughs> Okay, James um, gently cupped my head in his hands and kissed me, shaking in grief as he did. I, however, only could stare in disbelief. Was he really going to let me go? I felt a small draft open behind me, causing the air around me to circulate and rush past my body before uh, feeling one of James' hand lower to my sternum and push me back. Oh, wow. He pushed you into the hole. Damn it. <laughs> With a gasp, I watched as James kept his hand extended out to me while my body became sucked into the sort of portal. White feathers danced around the barrier and my mind began flooded with memories, slowly evaporating the further I went in. Oh wow, erasing all your memories. Tears continued to drip down James' face. Wow, no. Our marriage, our embrace, our love all turned to ash, vanishing from my mind. Soon enough, even the sight, it became pure white. Couldn't remember anything but my name. Except to destiny. Damn it! How did I even get that ending? I don't understand. Uh, I don't understand how I can even get it. Ew, this game is so fucking long. 
Oh, I got the worst one. It's not even a good ending. Dude. Mm. I don't even know if I can even go back very far. Because my loaded ones are not that good. I don't even know how I get this ending. I don't know which one causes it. Was it because... I don't even know how I can even see if I can get a different ending. Because, like, you got to go so far back. Is that even a good ending? Like, it kind of is, but it's not a happy... It's, 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 it's not a bad, bad ending. It's not like the ending... Uh, gee. Uh, so sad. That's so sad. I kind of want to actually see Diana's role, too. It's so good for that. Imagine that. That's pretty much a poly relationship if you're with Diana, because you also got to have Seto with you, too. Because Seto ain't going to leave for shit. So, that changes a lot of things with that. And then also you got to see on how it ends. Ooh, the beginning. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know if I actually want to record that or not. I might want to just check that out by myself. But also this game is pretty cheap. At least when I got it, it was like 10, 20 bucks, I think at most. I don't remember. But yeah, I like it. That was sad, but it wasn't so bad. <laughs> just the ending I got uh, just sucked. Except it destiny ending. Mm. That just sucks, man. But also, I wasn't really getting much of a chance because you're fighting angels. I don't see how exactly you would actually go against that to see what the. I might need to look it up to see like what other um, things that I can get. But that just sucks. And I was just like only 10 minutes away from ending it. I could have just had that last video be like an hour long instead of like 45 minutes, 40 minutes, something like that. Whatever. But I guess this one's going to be super short because it's pretty much the end. And I don't know how exactly I can get a different ending because I don't quite understand the the whole um, choosing process. Um, the creator, which is uh, Mitchell... I forgot her name. I, I'm, I'm subscribed to her on Facebook. She's a very talented uh, voice actress. Uh, she she does really good with her games. It's like, wow. And I, I was surprised because I was subscribed to her and I didn't know that she actually made these games. So, yay. But, oh, I'm so sad about that ending. Ending sucked. But that's how it is. But I was like, I could. Since I have the game, I can always come back to it and try Diana's route. Because that sounds so cool. I might actually record it. Because it seems like recording is the best way for me to actually play video games. Or then I just don't. It's like, ah, that's how it sucks. But that's, that's how this is going to go. I'm going to end it here. Uh, at least I finally got to the end of this. Finally. And then it just has so many routes to choose from. So many possibilities, to be honest. But I'm more for Diana's role, and I think that she's right here. Because that's what I really want to see. Because other than the other th other guys, it's like, eh. But Diana's one is just, like, really interesting. It interests me a lot. So, that's how that goes. Okay. Alright, if you want to see more of this and possibly uh, me actually going for Diana's route or if anyone wants to comment in this comment section below that you want to see that, I might do it anyway even if people don't want it, but I'm not too sure if I would just do it by myself or record it. So that all depends. Okay. Alright. Bye-bye now.